Sophie, I'm Sasha Mom, the tech man here. I've been using this Wacom Cintiq Pro 16 digital drawing tablet for about three months now. So this is the high time to tell you guys about my honest experience with this tablet. Some people had complained about some lagging issues, drawing line issues and palm rejection issues. So we are going to find out what are the real issues this tablet has and how to solve the ones that are solvable. And of course, as I promised you in my first Cintiq Pro 16 review video, if you don't have a USB-C port and if you don't have a mini display port, how to use your HDMI port to use this tablet. So let's get it started. As we all know by now, unlike the previous versions of the Wacom Cintiq tablets, this one requires you to have an alternate mode supported, that means a display mode supported USB-C in your computer. If you don't have that, you have to use the Wacom Link adapter, but you need to have a mini display port in your PC. And if you don't have that as well, you can use your HDMI port that usually comes with most of the PCs and laptops. But guys, don't go ahead and buy these kind of cables that has one end with HDMI male port and the other end with female display port, these cables actually won't work at all. You need a HDMI to display port converter and a display port male to mini display port male cable so that you can connect it to Wacom Link adapter in order to use this tablet. Unfortunately, there are not so many manufacturers producing these converters. Anyways, the one that I'm using here is called StarTech and you can order this one directly on their website. But I got this one on Amazon. I will leave a link below just in case if you're looking for one. Actually, according to Wacom, this tablet shouldn't work in 4K when you're using the Wacom Link adapter. It's supposed to work in 1080p resolution. But if you get a 4K rated display port to mini display port cable, the tablet will work in at least 2K like my tablet. I have seen online some guys claiming that it even works in 4K when you have this 4K rated cable. But to be honest, actually, it didn't work for me at the beginning. It was still working in 1080p. But after a couple of restarts later, Somehow it automatically jumped into 2K and uh, I think that's a nice surprise, maybe. Let's talk about some of the issues that people think that this tablet has. Actually the first one comes to my mind is the lagging issue when you're using Photoshop. Some people even had uploaded some video clips showing what they were going through. But actually I have no lagging issue with this tablet whatsoever. I'm using here Adobe Photoshop CC 2018, working with a 4K document, using different sizes of brushes and I'm moving my hand as fast as I can and obviously the tablet keeps up with it really well. Then there was another complaint, once you use touch gestures and when you move back to pen, the tablet not being able to recognize the pen. For example, once you use the fingers to zoom in the canvas and then when you try to draw using the pen, instead of drawing the pen just to move the canvas here and there. And again, as you can see, I don't have that issue as well. So those people who made videos and complained, were they all lying? No, actually there is something that is causing most of these problems. Nowadays Windows comes with its own version of drivers for tablet monitors. It seems these drivers and the Wacom drivers don't do well together. So that caused almost all these problems. Fortunately, it's very easy to fix it. First open Wacom Tablet Properties Drivers app and then find the Propin 2 section. In there under the calibration section, uncheck the box use Windows Ink. After that you need to open Notepad and type the following lines. After typing those lines, save the document as a text file as I have shown here. Then copy this document and follow the instructions that I am showing on display. Then you can paste it into Adobe Photoshop settings folder. That's it, now you can restart the software. I will also leave this instruction down below in the comment section in case if it gets too complicated for you. Now the lag and the touch issues and the most of the other issues should be gone uh, but it seems there is one thing that can't be fixed. The issue with the drawing straight lines diagonally. Once you draw a diagonal line and zoom in, you can see that the line is not really straight. You don't have the same issue when you draw lines horizontally or vertically. Anyways, I don't think that's really an issue. 
When it comes to the pressure sensitive video, it works quite smooth. It's really, really responsive. In case when you are using Photoshop and pressure sensitivity is not working, just open the brush settings and click shape dynamics. Then in the control menu, choose pen pressure. After that, your pen pressure should be fine. Let me be honest. Beside all the great things that the Cintiq Pro 16 offers like 4K display and the color accuracy and insane pressure sensitivities, there is kind of an issue if you are an animator. It's, it's gonna be kind of hard to access the timeline because it's a 16 inch tablet. When you have few objects in the timeline, you feel like everything is packed in there and the things are too small and uh, you don't have enough room. Especially if you're using the softwares like Adobe Animate, After Effects and Character Animation, my opinion is this tablet is not for you guys. You better look for something with a bigger display. I really do think that this tablet is perfect for artists, starting from a beginner to a pro. Um, if you're an artist, if you're an illustrator, if you're a sculptor or if you're a designer, this device is not going to disappoint you. If you're expecting to use the software like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, um, ZBrush and Sketchbook Pro, anything related to drawing, I think this 16 inch tablet is going to be perfect for you. Basically so far I've been enjoying the time with the Cintiq Pro 16. Anyways, if something goes wrong I will definitely let you guys know. So make sure to smash that big fat red subscribe button below and smash the like button. I really really do appreciate it. And also go ahead and check out my funny animation storytelling channel. I will leave a link below. That's it for this video. Talk to you guys in the next one. Cheerio until then.